I started like comedy in like Windsor and I would go to Detroit to this like urban room. I said urban room like weird. <laughs> but it was just me and black guys and they would like not heckle me. They'd be like, oh look, every time I walk in they're like, oh look at this white boy. Did you run here? And I said, yeah, in my mind, I ran. I don't know where my car is, but I just want to be here for the chuckles. <laughs> But there was this guy that managed the place. His name was Steve. He's like maybe 50, old white dude with a tie-dye shirt. I've never, this guy would walk up and down behind the bar. He'd be like, you black guys, you black guys. And the comics would be like, shut the fuck up, Steve. <laughs> Steve would be like, I'm gonna call, he'd always go like, I'm gonna call the cops and reach for a phone that wasn't there. That still bothers me. Where's the phone? You're bullying me. I still, 10, this happened 10 years ago. I still, where's the phone, Steve? Show me the phone, you're bullshitting everyone. <laughs> but then I saw something that is, it, was, it was nuts to me. In the front row, beautiful lady, beautiful man. I'm secure with myself to say it. Beautiful couple, hands down, dopest couple in the room. You've been there to comedy shows, you go, that's the couple. They're the stunners. <laughs> when they have sex, they're gonna create beautiful things. <laughs> Some of you, they, I've been there, I've been matched up. I've been matched up with like a, a girl where I go, she's way better than me, like our kid's gonna be halfway maybe. But I'll give that kid personality and she'll give her whatever the fuck she gives. We work together. I've been there, right? And now's the situation. On stage is a comic named Tony Roney. Don't know if that's his real name. Don't know. <laughs> Tony Roney goes like this, right? He goes, yo, is that your girl? And then the dude's like this and he goes, he goes keep it moving. I'm scared. I'm already scared. I'm terrified. I go, who says that? I've never heard that. Keep it moving? That's, there's war. There has to be something. That's insane, right? Tony Roney, smooth. He goes, come on, dog. This is your girl, man. You should celebrate her. Dude goes, I said, keep it moving, homie. And I go, he said. We should all worry that he said. He said, but now he said. He said that he said. Why isn't anyone writing this down? Somebody write this down. Mayday, part one, there's trouble right here. Red alert, I don't know what they call that. A yellow alert, amber alert, who knows? There's an alert over here that nobody's focusing on right now. And then he goes, he goes, come on, man, if that was my girl, I would have celebrated her. Dude gets up, pulls his shirt up, he goes, I said, keep it moving, fam. There was a gun, there was a gun. Tony Roney, without missing a beat, goes, oh shit, you that type of dude, that's cool, and did 20 more minutes, unaffected by the gun. Nobody lost it. Everyone was like, yeah, that's normal. Everyone, I scream, I scream. I'm from the suburbs, I lost it. I'm sitting next to a guy named Black Coffee. Don't know if that guy, it's his real name. Big, big, bigger black guy. I go, ah! Black Coffee lifts me off my stool and goes, we ain't in Canada anymore, motherfucker. And put me back down. I'm a grown man and put my hands on my own lap. He, I peed, a, I had to pee, I had to pee. He goes, is that pee? I go, that's a gratitude to you to show me that I'm not a man. 